Hey folks, Leducium here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play of The Walking Dead. Uh, season 1, Chapter 4, I guess, Episode 4. Anyways, I'm uh, kicking ass and rocking and rolling and making my way through this game. So uh, let's go ahead and hit play. So it should be actually Episode 4, I believe. Yep. Around every corner. So we made it to Charlotte? No, Savannah. I don't know. We made it to somewhere in Georgia. And, uh... Did not have a deliverance moment yet, so... All in all, I think we've been successful. And I'm gonna take a drink of coffee while this loads. Drink a sip. Previously, Gulp. on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly! Ugh, I've heard enough out of you! Now! What the fuck's the problem? You're not coming with us. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow that y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. That's what Chuck. You You're his dad. You gotta do this. Just put an end to it, man. Quack. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah, you need to know if they're okay and, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Shit! People are falling, it's funny. Wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Who the fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. It's never simple, is it? Telltale Games presents... Association with Skybound Inter... I, I, why am I reading this? The Walking Dead. I'm going to make my own series. I call it The Swimming Dead. It'll be like The Walking Dead, but with hookers and blackjack. Everyone will love it. Can't I just hold it? Just for a little while? We're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... I already told you no. Don't ask me again, okay? What's the harm in letting her have it? It doesn't even work. You take care of yours, let me take care of mine. Sorry I spoke. How's Oneed? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. Oh, need some need medical rest. attention. He needs oh, to rest. Oh, that doesn't... That's not very good. Um. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? There sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. <laughs> Kenny knows what he's doing. I can't wait to see Kenny go crazy when there are no boats. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! I'd get out of the street now. 
I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello? I said answer me! What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? The bell tolls for thee. It tolls for thee. Which is a Metallica song. Fantastic. And, uh... I think they should have realized that the sound would attract the walkers. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, oh fuck! fuck. Run. God damn it! Run! Follow me! Too close, don't you think? Ben! No! Ben! Help her! Ah, oh, Ben, you suck. God damn it! Catch up with you. Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. Oh, give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time! We gotta go! Now! I'll be fine! Just go! I'll get the door. Apparently Savannah's Georgia's first ah! city. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened <clears throat> up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, that's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Good old Clementine through the window. Or doggy no door. way we're gonna force that open. Not without making a lot of noise, at least. There we go. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked, too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's, it's radio-controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right, so where's the dog? Oh, tell me it's a zombie dog. Looks like something was buried here. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Looks like something was buried here. <laughs> I know. Just... Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. There we go. The shovel Problem is solved. That useful. There's nothing a shovel to the face can't solve. 
Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. What's buried down there? The truth. Potato Man knows the truth. The tooth. Don't know yet. Clementine, honey, come sit with me in Omid. Let Lee work. Oh, God, the smell. Must have belonged to someone. <laughs> nope, it was a stray, wandered into an open hole, and then died. Can't get it off. Okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? I don't need that anymore. I'm done digging up dead dogs for today. You sound very confident in that <laughs> assessment. Let's talk to this douchebag. Ben. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's... It's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Yeah, well, I figure that's probably for the best. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. I'm gonna go check things out. Now, all right. granted, I don't think we should be having these conversations with a horde of zombies right outside, but... How are you guys doing? Not great, so long as we're stuck out here. Will you please go figure out a way to get us inside? But, as long as the game allows Will we it... Will be inside soon? Yeah, not much longer now. I hope so. It's getting cold out here. There are wolves after me. Okay. They're ready. Oh, hey. Nope. Actually, said that would track them with the noise, right? So, let's just talk to him Making real quick. Making any progress on that door? Or not. Um... Alright, let's use the collar. Nothing. Yes! God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. Horrible idea. <clears throat> it's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... <laughs> Clem, what do you see in there? Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. <laughs> you did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. Looks like we lost Chuck. We hardly knew the... But, let's see what happens inside of here. Uh, sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe.
So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I didn't see the point in worrying anyone. Not until I figured out who it was. I don't like people keeping secrets. I especially don't like it when they think it's for my own good. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What if they're the same guy? That doesn't make any damn sense. If it was the same guy, why would he warn us? Damned if I know. Maybe they were just trying to mess with us. Wouldn't be the most screwed up thing I've seen these past few weeks, I can tell you. Whoever that was on the radio, I think they were trying to help us. They did warn us, didn't they? Maybe you're right. But whoever it was, they're watching us. Following us. And they don't want us to know who they are. I can't think of any explanation for that that would make me feel better. Can you? Nope. I think we could all use a little time to rest up and gather our thoughts, Kenny. At least until those walkers outside wander off and Old Meat's feeling better. He best feel better quick. I ain't gonna wait around here too long. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen and Omid need anything, okay? Okay. So here's something that's been bothering me about this whole zombie apocalypse, or any zombie movie for that matter. It doesn't seem to affect the animals at all. Now, what about, let's say, apes. Apes who know sign language. I'm They're pretty close to human. Signs I need to finish checking the downstairs. Genetically, uh, we share other diseases with them. We share diseases with pigs. We share diseases with birds. Yet, all empty. Pretty much every zombie apocalypse is just humans. Nothing. Water's. Can off. I get a freaking zombie ape? <laughs> is all I'm saying. That's. Just one. I'm not that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. Alright. Microwave. I think needs to be inspected. No power. Cleaned out. I already check up there. All empty. I did. All right. Can't remember anymore. Need more coffee. He thinks. Must have stopped working a while ago. How's it coming? Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. <laughs> Looks expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. Hey guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far, so good. How's that couch treating you, Omid? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. I feel you. <laughs> what do you guys think about this plan at Kinney's? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. 
That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Kenny's solid. He's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. Finding this house was a hell of a stroke of luck. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. I'll make sure. But right now it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. Oh, I'd like to believe you had to say that. that. Really, I would. Really. Sit tight. I'll you, keep checking the first floor I mean, to make sure it's safe. Haven't you watched Thanks any me. movies? You never say your luck's about to change. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. No, but I know foreshadowing when I see it. <laughs> so. Thanks. Not exactly my style. Why a gun? I have a wrench. Nothing hiding in here. Except for ghosts of duty past. All clear in here. Just one more to check. Dun, dun, dun. It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, uh, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents, and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. <laughs> What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. So that'd be good. Kenny? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Looks like duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? 
Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can do it, Lee. Not... not again. I can't ask you to go through this again. Let me take care of it. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> uh... Don't I have Here, a gun of my own? This'll make it clean and quick. What are you doing? I thought you said you were gonna take care of it. I'm sorry, man. I... I don't know that I can. What? I don't know that I can either. You, you're right. I can't put you through this again. <laughs> what the hell? I'll take care of it. <laughs> now I'm just fucking with him. <laughs> Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. Hmm. I say we bash... I have a choice of bash, stomp, or shoot. Well, nothing that a good bashing won't fix. I'm sorry. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. You thought you wouldn't need the shovel again today. You, sir, Mr. Lee, were wrong. Do this thing. Really kind of stretching this part out, aren't they? Come on. Ooh. Hey! Hey! Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? 
I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing. But the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I don't know if it's safe to leave just yet. Why the hell not? Walkers look to have cleared out. That's not all I'm worried about. So you'd rather just hunker down here and just let whoever's out there keep us boxed in? Wait for them to starve us out? No thanks. I hate to say it, but Kenny's right. <coughs> Omid's not in great shape to move, but we can't do anything for him here. Without meds or a doctor, he's only gonna get worse. All right, all right. I'll head to the river with Kenny to scope out a boat while you get Omid ready to move. What about me? You'll <laughs> stay here with the group. You'll only slow us down. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it it's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. <clears throat> Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? <laughs> yeah. You're a douchebag. That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Good. I really hate this guy. I don't know why I trusted him, but... <laughs> Really don't like Ben. Anyway, on to the next great adventure. You think everyone's safe back at the house? Safe as anyone can be these <clears throat> days, I guess. I just hate leaving Clementine alone. As if walkers weren't bad enough, now we got this crazy motherfucker on the radio stalking us. Won't be a problem once we get out on the water. River's just a few blocks up ahead. Ah, oh, come on. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What in the hell is going on? I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. <laughs> hmm. Let's keep moving. It's 
Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan! It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. See, there you go. It's a boat. Kind of. This Part of one the boat. might still be salvageable. You better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. I don't listen to instructions well. So I'm going to go click on a whole bunch of other stuff. Looks like the whole city has been boarded up for all the good it did. It's an old cash register. Not much use these days. An abandoned newsstand. Must have taken weeks to board up all these windows. <laughs> Zombie apocalypse or not, this is what most newsstands will look very soon. Or how most newsstands will look very the soon. Are these markings? They're all over the place. Could be military tags, <clears throat> but what do they mean? The printed medium is dying, is all I'm saying. Probably should not be going down here. But who could pass up an opportunity to explore? Meant to be some kind of warning? We'll do something like this. Obviously, somebody with a sense of humor. Now, <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna shoot them because, in theory, that will Bunch attract. Walkers like scarecrows. What sick bastard did this? In theory, that should uh, bring on the noise. This barricade does a good job of making me not want to go any further. Cool. Anyway, let's move on with our lives. And look through this telescope. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Well, there you go. Now I have to go back to the newsstand. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, well, I'm assuming Kenny doesn't have the quarter, and I have to shoot the walker to get the quarter? Well, let's find out. You got a quarter on you? Don't have a lot of use for small change these days. Maybe you can find one on the street somewhere. Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Or 
Apparently things didn't go as planned. Jesus. Not exactly a welcome banner. Alrighty. Well, I don't think we'll find one in the street per se. <laughs> I could try to smack with a wrench. Damn. Built solid. Don't think I'm going to see anything until I find a quarter. Alright, fine. So, I have to be stupid now. Let's just make sure I can't find one in the alley. And then I'll do something stupid like shoot those guys. Seems like I should be able to go to the right. Right? But I can't. Alrighty, so let's go do something dumb. Do, 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 do. Better not. Gunfire would just bring more walkers. Okay. Alright, so I can't shoot him. So where the hell am I going to get a quarter? Aha. Looks like it's still intact. Trust, or we can trust the wrench to come to the rescue. Gordon Freeman would be proud. Now, let's go uh, see what we can see. I spy with my eye. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the? What the hell is that? <laughs> you like it? Something I came up Fate with. Fate worse than death. Alright, cool. Let's Abandoned, look around. Like every other place in this city. Plenty of docks, no boats. No way that one's salvageable. Nothing but water. Not a boat to be seen. Oh, uh, hello. What the hell? Some extreme parkour. Get down! Get down! we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. <laughs> Oops. Well then. That didn't go according to plan. No! Clem? Please, don't hurt him!
You're not from Crawford. Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Kenny, don't! No, he's with us! Who the hell are you people? Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? Kinda. But when everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive. Stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. That's not how our group does things. You're not saying they actually... I mean, I mean kids? No, the children, they just forced to leave along with their parents, left them to fend for themselves out here in the world. Why? Like I said, zero tolerance. Crawford got rid of anyone that couldn't pitch in, pull their own weight. The way they looked at it, those people were just a lot of useless mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. <laughs> dun dun dun. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. Huh, that's pretty smart, with the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Shouldn't they find a better place to, uh, to talk? I came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? Shit. 
Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... That happens. Great. Just great. Isn't that the... The way we came. Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mommy, is there a... Hey! You're just gonna leave us here? Sorry, I must have missed that part of our conversation where you became my problem. Don't leave us here! Please! Once again, parkour saves lives. <laughs> Come on! Make it fast! Me. Come on, come on, hurry! Me! Come on! Come on, man. One good jump. No! Me! Hurry! Lee, get your ass out of there! God, can't get it open! Here, use that to pry it open. I move. <laughs> Once again, people falling down is funny. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. So now we've got a sewer level. Shit. All right. Cool. Anyways, guys, thanks for joining me uh, so far for this uh, Let's Play of Chapter 4 of The Walking Dead. I'm going to pause the game right here. If you want to come back, I will be playing a little bit more. If you guys are enjoying the video, please uh, leave a like, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure that you get updates whenever I post new videos, and I'll see you guys next time.